All right, today we're gonna to talk about section 6.16 and it's called percent change. And let's take a quick look at an example. Oops, bumped the little camera. In 2007, um, Facebook had an estimated 80 million users. Between 2007 and 2015, the user base grew 1,070%. How many users in 2000? 15. So today we're going to be talking about percent changes just like this. Um, and we have a simple formula that we're going to use and we're just going to apply it to these numbers that we get for this section. And the formula looks like this. Amount of change equals the percent of change times the original amount. Let's apply this to a simple example first. Okay, so let's see what happens when 75 is decreased by 40%. Okay. I'm going to write my little formula out because that always helps me focus. Uh, oh, let me fix my uh, camera quick so that it won't go in and out of focus. Oh, looks like it is set. All right. Um, we have our amount of change equals percent change times the original amount. All right, I have my 40% times 75. Now, I don't really want to use 40% in my math because 40% really doesn't mean anything. So I'm going to turn that into a decimal because that makes it much easier for me to work with. So to do that, remember, I'm just going to move the decimal place two places over. So I have 0.4 times 75. And I'm going to put that in my calculator real quick. And I have 0.4 times 75. I don't know why my focus is not doing super great today. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Hmm. It doesn't want to... There we go. Okay, sorry about that. That is going to be equal to 30. Now, that is just the amount of change. Notice we have not solved our total problem. So, when 75 changes by 40%, it's going to move 30. And in this case, it's being decreased, so we're going to be going down. So, I'm going to do 75 minus 30. And this is going to give me, what is that, 45. And my answer is 45, not 30, because this is only an intermediate step. It's only the middle step to get to my real answer. Okay, let's look again at solving this using the earlier problem where we looked at Facebook. Okay, started with 80 million views. I'm going to do it a little bit over here because I'm a little bit low on space. Um make a little note we're going to be doing Facebook right here all right and I'm going to write amount change equals percent times original okay this is going to be let's see 1070 times 80 million 1070 percent times 80 million. 
Now I can write this, oops, I can write this like this as 80 million, or I can write it with all the zeros written out. It doesn't really matter. As long as I remember that this 80 is 80 million and not just a regular 80. Okay, I need to turn this into an actual number because I can't use this as a percent. So I'm going to take my decimal point and I'm going to move it over. Let me make sure that I move it the right way. Yep. I'm just going to move it two to the left, just like normal. And that will give me 10.7 times 80 million. I'm going to put that into my calculator. Ten point seven times eighty is going to be eight hundred and fifty. Oops, eight hundred and fifty-six million. That is a significant change for sure. All right, so this was a a plus though because the Facebook increased its total amount. So just like I did before, I'm going to need to add up my change that I found here as well as the amount that changed. So I'm going to do 800 oops. 856 plus my original amount, which was 80. If I add these two together, I'm going to get 936 million users. That is quite a significant amount of people using one website. That's pretty wild. If you feel like you get how to use this formula, go ahead and go on. I'm going to do two more examples if you feel like you're still not quite sure on how this is going. Let's look at example one. All right. In this one, let's look what happens when 45 is increased by 10%. All right, let's write my little formula. Amount of change equals percent change times the original amount. All right, 10% times 45. It's going to be 0 0.1 times 45, and that's going to be equal to 4.5. We're going to increase, so that means I need to do 45 plus 4.5, which is going to be 40. Oops, I didn't set that up right. It should be 45 plus 4.5, right? Because when I'm doing my adding, okay, that's going to give me 49.5. Nice. Let's look at another example. Let me move my page up to make sure that we can see. And this one. Let's see what happens when 50 increased by 25%. Okay, I'm going to write my change equals my percent times my original. Okay? I've got 25% times 50. I'm going to rewrite this as a decimal times 50. Now I have a quarter of 50, which should be 12.5. Now it increased. So 50, my original, plus 12.5 is going to be... 62.5. And that's how I do it. If you're still confused after that, um, find an adult and ask or try rewatching one of the examples. Good luck.